employees is a good start. Are you out of your mind? Why not? Pay taxes on these employees. Oh, you won't have to pay taxes on these employees unless the government opens up its offices again. And with the way it's going, I'm not going to be able to file for unemployment. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Don't you think Uncle Sam should exempt us from paying those tax dollars? Yeah, I wish. That's not happening. Oh, get out of here. Hey, hey, where are you going? You told me to get out of here. I did not mean that literally. Oh, sit down. Please, I, I just don't think we should pay tax dollars to pay employees that are unemployed. Who, the feds? Who else? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the culprit. I knew you were puking. I knew it. <sighs> Rough night, huh? I think I'm the first one to get it. What, Ebola? <laughs> no, moron. Salmonella. Didn't you hear about the outbreak? Jeez, you make it sound like an epidemic. <laughs> like a zombie outbreak or something. <sighs> Serious, Jim. You better start getting your shit together. Otherwise, you're going to be bumming around, crashing every friend's sofa like the next real big epidemic? You know that, right? And you, let's face it, you have no friends to shop. Don't call me by my name. Ooh, I see the salmonella got into your brains and has given you an identity crisis. Not unless we want this corporation to prosper. People in America feel more comfortable dealing with a Dan as opposed to a Deshaun. <laughs> Can you stop hurling, man? I gotta spew out this poison. You're gonna ruin this nice rug. What rug? You know, I think you should put it up against the walls. It looked beautiful, man. We do that back home, cuz. Cuz, that's not Mikey. Like like? Oh, okay. Anyway, we have an appointment at four. Who's we? Which is what I was about to ask you. To show up instead of me. D, I've never given a massage before. No, it's a plumbing job. You can clean pipes, right? Cuz, I'm an accountant. You know what an accountant does? He cleans accounts, not pipes. You gotta help me out, please. D, you gotta stop chasing the dragon's tail, cuz. What dragon? Hey. Bad chicken. It's just a different animal. <laughs> Open up, Dan the man. Rinse to. If I don't get the money by tonight, you're gonna have to find yourself another joint. Garage, Lorraine. Garage, barrage, whatever. Cough it up, Dan the man. Don't call me Dan the man. It's D. 
Just plain D. Cuz, she's spying on you. I bet you she works for the FBI undercover. That's why she's home all the time. Before you know it. Are you all right? Are you all right? Oh, me. You want to kiss me next, huh? You're gross. Nasty. Why do you have to say these things? Don't piss her off, Dad. Please. Don't piss her off, okay? You know, why don't you see if she can give you a veteran discount? Since you both worked with the same boss. Hey. At least you walked away with a purple heart and a wheelchair. Eight o'clock tonight, Mr. Handyman. You hear me? You got it, Lorraine. Eight. I promise. Oh no, don't give me that look. I can't spot you, guys. I'm broke, man. I'm broke. Fine, fine. Just show up to my four o'clock appointment. So the help I need. It's not eight, Lorraine. It's me. The key is stuck. Check her out. That's Lorraine. No, no, she's, she's, she's tricking Michelle. us. Yeah. She's changing her voice. Sam, it's Michelle. Who's Michelle? Hey, it's all right. We're coming, Michelle. She's... Hey, 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 are you done? Yeah, yeah. Oh, just one more. Go open the door. No, no, no. Just one more. Oh. oh, hi. Hey, um, <clears throat> did I come at a wrong time? Oh, not at all, Michelle. I'd like you to meet my cousin, uh, Jamil. Jim. Uh, Jim is short for Jamil. It means beautiful in Arabic. Cool. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jem. Oh, nice to meet you, too. Nice shoes. Hipsterish, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Have you been smoking pot again? No, why? When the smell of air freshener overrides the stench in here, that's usually the case. I should have known it wasn't a good idea. Jamil will be helping us out with the business. And the rain's been hounding me. I don't want her walking in on me while I'm naked in bed. You should try that. You could possibly save more than 15% on your rent. You're starting to sound like a Geico commercial, cuz. It's that time for my pal. Why don't I leave you guys to discuss that on your own? Rent, silly. You can stay. She gave me an ultimatum. Eight to nine. Jem's handling your agenda. He's good. <laughs> I'm all right. As your personal assistant, I should be doing that. This literally just happened, and he was the first one to grab it fresh off the press. Oh, well, you know what, Michelle? I swear I didn't grab anything. Are you two? Seriously? He's my cousin, for pity's sake. Pity? Pete's. Oh, Pete's okay. You don't expect me to be with you around the clock for minimum wage. Look at it this way. At least you get more than a happy meal working for me. You know, I, I really think I should leave you two to discuss. Oh, yeah, that's right. Pour the gasoline and run off. Oh, I'm joking. I gotta get Yeah, you might as well clap the music. I'm joking. Hey, why are you so serious? Long story. I'll talk about it later. Listen, we need to redraft my contract. We have a gentle agreement, Michelle. You're starting to sound like a hitman. Should I be worried? Dan, you hired me. I hired you so you could start making money coming out of med school. Four bucks an hour? That's... Tax-free. With the little hours you need me, I need to work three days to put a tank of gas in my car. Best fun, Michelle. Same shit. It still gets me from point A to point B. It's not. A tank of gas can fill up your best for three times, if not more. It's not even minimum wage, Dan. I need a raise. I'm smarter than that. And I'm also cute and can get a job like that anytime. <laughs> well, you know what, Michelle? That's also one of the reasons why I hired you. You're pleasant from the eyes. Pleasant? Is that the best you can say? Ain't the rain. I get delivery for pizza hamburger. Hamburger? <laughs> yes, young Simon. For hours. <laughs> His name is Jen, not him. My name is Julio. You don't see nobody calling me Julio. Once in a while. Why do you have to deliver here? Well, I don't know. Ask Mr. Hamburger when you see him. I just deliver. I don't do the riddle. Senior Julio. Why did I get it? Oh, 
so, you're more than pleasant. Really? Yes. What am I then? Um. <laughs> you can't even say it. I hope you'll be handy enough to find a replacement, because I'm out. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. You're very attractive and. What's that smell? <clears throat> what smell? It smells like ass in here. Uh, no, it must be the same. I need to bag and clean out the pipes. Why don't you clean them out for her? I mean, you live in this house. Her pipes are your pipes too. God forbid. All right, she's a cheapskate. She won't pay a dime. Why don't you barter for rent? You know what, come to think of it, that's not a bad idea. I mean, you know how I don't want to get anywhere near those pipes. God even knows who's been lurking in those things after all these years. I think you should. Be her handyman. Shave off at least half your rent. Hmm. And what am I going to do with the half that I want to save? Put me on the books. What? Are you out of your mind? I need to pay towards my social security. Look, by the time you retire, it's not going to be there anymore. You're better off investing in a piggy bank. Okay. <laughs> Give me a raise then. Another two bucks an hour, at least. Look, can, can we just get back to what we were talking about earlier? What? Pipes? To hell with those pipes. The stench that's in here? No. How hot you look in those glasses. Thought I looked hot with the glasses on. Oh, you do. They're just in the way right now. Did you hear about the salmonella outbreak? You shouldn't eat any chicken. <laughs> <laughs> For a sec, I thought it was my breath. <sighs> Handy dandy, this is Michelle speaking. How can I direct your call? He is on another call. Can I take a message? You need an escort. <laughs> Here for the plug, miss. Uh, Renata, and you are? Uh, Jeff. As in the precious metals? Uh, precious metals, they're my precious. Can you put it down? You look like the Statue of Liberty. I hope I didn't interrupt your shower. I'm glad you did. The water level was knee high. Oh, uh, was it the toilet seat or the bathtub? I said I was showering, and the water level was... Yeah, right. You did, you did say that. Uh, wait a second. This is very toxic. I guess you won't be needing the torch. No, there's enough light in here. Exact bottle of the liquid plumber in the cabinet under the sink. This is different. How? You have to know how to apply it. It could be lethal. Mine came with instructions as well. Yes, but this is special. Really? Nice shoes. Hipsterish, right? Yeah. Stylish. You can do my job, please. Oh, you take your job too seriously. You should be glad I do. Can I get you anything before I leave? Maybe a chill pill? Huh? Peace, please. You're distracting me. Can you leave? Let me concentrate. Jeez, I think I called a sore surgeon. <laughs> I'm happy to report that I am done. That was fast. Oh, we don't call ourselves handy for no reason. Please, don't shower for the next few hours. $75? I know. Cheap. Steep. I picked up the same bottle for four bucks. Well, you 
didn't have me. You're lucky you didn't call Liquid America Plumbing Services. They would have ripped your arm off. What makes you think you are worth $175? It's actually a little less if you take the taxes out, but on a good day, yes. Oh, you're good with math. I'm certified at Not on my dime. Listen, Renata, I don't price the job, my dear. I just do it. I'm calling Better Business Bureau on you people. Why? Because I don't think that a one-minute job is worth this much. Yeah, if you don't mind taking bubble baths and murky waters, then it is. I need to see some ID. What's your phone number? Uh, you know, I, I forgot it in the office. Yeah. Just like I left my mind in bed when I woke up this morning and thought about calling you guys. You know, you don't have to pay me cash. We take personal checks, all major credit cards, money orders. We even accept traveler's checks. So no pressure. It's still a ripoff. It's too late. I can't suck it back out of your drain. Can we make some other arrangements? Hmm. Uh, I can paint a room for you for another $75, as long as it's less than five by five. My bathroom is bigger than that. You are a certified hustler. I'm not certified in that field. But I'm trying. I wasn't referring to paint. Hmm. That's deep. Pretty deep, Mr. Jan. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I should leave. Why? I can use some entertainment. I can't jump back in the shower for the next few hours anyhow. <laughs> you know, I, I haven't felt this good since Christmas. Why not? I just have so much going on. Can you top off finding your husband in bed with your best male friend? Ouch, that must be painful. Not that I ever had a husband. Um, are you still going to call that Better Business Bureau? Why does it stress you out so much? Oh, well, uh, uh, Go on, you can trust me. Are you sure? You were about to make a phone call a minute ago. I was haggling. Oh, you're good. <laughs> oh, I know. So? Uh, yeah, so I'm working on getting my work permit. I think you should stay a little longer and earn your pay then. Okay. <laughs> Wait, are they open for business anyway? Who? Oh. The Better Business Bureau. Oh, forget about them. I think we can work things out. You have connections? I'm American, baby. I really like you or not. <laughs> Christmas too. <laughs> Isn't Christmas wonderful in this country? The music, the radio jungles. <laughs> You're cute. You mean jingles. <laughs> oh. One has a U in it and one has an I. Oh. In it. <laughs> Come. Let me show you. The measuring tape. The room that you need to paint. You're not going to deport me, are you? Oh, relax, baby. I'm gonna leave that to the big bad wolves. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna take real good care of you. Okay. Where is it? I knew you weren't gay. What? Nothing. Who is it? Room service. You had better have that red man, Mr. Jack of all trades. This Jack of all trades, you call it? Has cracked the code. Are you playing in the Rama Bank or something? Lorraine, I found a solution to our long standing dilemma. The only dilemma I have is you. Where's my money? From here on, I would be your handyman. Are you hitting on me, lover boy? Yeah, I would fix your pipes. I'm about to whoop that black ass of yours. I'm serious. I'm paying for people who come in here every other day to fix these odds and ends around the house. I want to be the jack that does it for you. And you expect me to pay you for these jobs? As, as long as you don't pay me with you. 
and he cuts the second one right. Yeah. It'll run you cheaper in the long haul. How do you know? Because this is what I do for a living. <laughs> what living? You can't even come up with $800 rent money. It's because I pay my employees. I keep this economy going. Are you playing me, young man? What employees? Dem? His name is Jim. Dem times have changed. Think about it. It does make sense. See? I told you. But you still gotta pay me rent money. Of course I will. You just broke my sofa! Oh, you just saw me this sofa for instance. I'm calling the police. Oh. Oh my gosh. Are you alright? Who are you? That's Michelle. His personal assistant. And secretary. I'll be damned. Got a good setup going on. I told you, I got employees. Dan, a uh, Miss Johnson just called and he's helped digging up her backyard. Oh, you're a serial killer. I knew it. Dumping bodies in backyards and all. Are you slandering me, Lauren? Let me correct you. She's a customer. Uh, she also asked us if we could pick up a bag of cement. There you are, dressing bodies in cement shoes. Let me correct you once more. Yes. Oh no, I need a much bigger race to do that. The cement's to repay for driveway. No, let's get out of here. The rain's thinking's over by yourself. Not until you fix that sofa. Now can we leave? Those cheap and quick fixes don't work with me, young man. I'll stop by the hardware store tomorrow and pick up a flip phone. And keep the bill. I'll make sure he does, Lorraine. Good night, Lorraine. We'll pick up what we left off tomorrow. Think about what I told you? Sure I will. <laughs> This boy has brains after all. <laughs> Cuz, I found it. You better have it check. I can't thank you enough for my four o'clock appointment. Where have you been? I've been calling you all day. I thought you were abducted. Oh, I was. You look fine to me. I was abducted by a blonde American goddess. Wait. Wait, right? you're scared. You're abducted by an alien? I thought they lived in UFOs and shit. Some good shit, cuz. When I think of aliens, I don't imagine them as being blonde, let alone American. I always thought of them as being freakish looking and um, foreign. Like you, cuz. I'm a freak? No, you're the foreigner, not the freak. That's not what you said when I first met you and saved your life in our old stomping grounds. They were battlegrounds, Jim. And yes, I do appreciate you being, saving my life and being the greatest Arabic linguist that you are. So how does that make me a bad guy then? You're not. That's why I'm keeping my promise to you and your sister. That's why we gotta stay focused, man, to make this business a success. We can bring them over here and live under one roof as one happy American family. I can't wait for that to happen. You're my only family here, cuz. But. Let's not forget, I did you a favor by taking that appointment. I appreciate it. I thank you a hundred times already. Would you like me to bend over? Oh, come on, gosh, why do you have to keep saying these gross things, man? Nasty. <laughs> she paid you, right? We worked something out. She made you dinner and tricked you out of getting cooked. I know how much you like food. You would work for food. Wouldn't you? Only when I'm desperate. Please, can you just not kill my vibe this one time, please? Showed me the way deep. She didn't feed you mushrooms, did she? Cause you're not making any sense. She's willing to help me. Only God can help you. You know, I've never seen you this enthusiastic since I picked you up from the airport three years ago and you touched down on American soil for the very first time. She's willing to marry me. Do you know what that means, cuz? I'm gonna be able to stay here legally. And I'm gonna get a social security card. 
And I will finally be able to walk into Dunkin' Donuts and flash a credit card that has my name on it. They're called secured prepaid cards, in case you didn't know that. Why are you knocking down everything I say? I'm not. Don't be a hater. I'm not a hater, just a fan in the night. Wouldn't you wish for my life to pan out perfectly well too? It's like a fairy tale. Exactly. That's why they're called fairy tales. You know what your problem is? What? You're gullible. Just like just like millions that live abroad, you think that money grows on trees here. You gotta work your ass off. But who says I won't? Here. I will plant my own tree. I paid a shiny nickel for those seeds. Penny. Shiny penny. You're so naive. You think all your worries will disappear the minute you get a social security number? You'll just be another number in this herd of kettle. <laughs> Next. You're such a pessimist. I'm a realist. Well, then you better start realizing the truth of the matter that your cousin here is going to become a U.S. citizen just like you. And I'll be the first one there to celebrate that moment with you. I'm your cousin after all. You were just saying I was a foreigner, an alien. I didn't mean that literally. You know I love you, bro. That's why I keep helping you out by giving you these odds and end jobs. You give me the dirtiest jobs, man. That's not true. I couldn't make this one because I was sick. What about that time when that guy, that weirdo, wanted me to look after his pet porcupine when he was away? I almost sat on that thing. I told you not to put it in my bedroom. Well, there was only one room. What about that? Or when that old geezer wanted me to wash her flaky feet when she was shedding worse than a snake in heat so she can wear her white penny loafers and compete in a quarter K walk for dementia? Get out of town. I would, if I only knew of a better town. They didn't mean that literally either. You should be thankful for the opportunities. Better than waiting at a gas station for some cheap millionaire, cheaper than un Uncle Scrooge, waiting to lowball you into some cheap landscaping job at his million mansion of one and a half. Half? It's Chihuahua. You're right, cuz. I know I'm right. You gotta be in it to get it. To win it. Right. Had I gone for that job today, you would have never met that savior of yours. True. That's why I love you, D. You can let go now. You're my brother from another mother. Thank God. By the way, we got another job. What is it this time? A retired lady wants us to dig up her backyard tonight. She believes somebody was buried there 20 years ago. Are you serious? What's wrong with these people? They're bored. Wouldn't it be cheap for her to hire you to take her to Six Flags for the day instead? If she did, where would you fit in? I need you to make some money as well. We'll go and get the job done, invoice her for a couple of hundred dollars. We'll take Michelle and your alien savior to Six Flags for the day. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Oh, can we go on that Superman ride? I always wanted to go on that Superman ride. Absolutely. But first we need to get the job done. All righty. Oh, by the way, um, do you mind if I crash over after we're finished? Why? I couldn't come up with rent money and I'm pretty much homeless. There's only room in my bed for one. Why? Pretend you're in the barracks once again. Oh, hell no. Hey, wait, why didn't you stay with that lady friends of yours tonight? No, oh, you know, you don't want to come across as overbearing and needy after the first date. I sent you on a job assignment, not a date. There's nothing wrong with spicing up your work to keep it interesting. Us? What's her name? Who? The new hero. Oh, Renata? Cool. So? What's the verdict? For what? Can I crash over at your place for a couple of days? Fine. Welcome to Broven, cuz. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Michelle might be stopping by. Deshaun, are you cheating on my sister? Oh, no, no, hell no, bro. Oh, okay. Are you alright? What's wrong, dude? Feeling queasy. Renata made me a chicken sandwich for dinner last night. It, it must have been the same batch of bad chicken that you had. Damn. Damn. Chicken.